Podcast. It's me, Adam Hunter. Uh, we got a great show. We got Vince Pichelle is back. Uh, Greg Romero Wilson. Hey, hey, hey. Tyler the Marine Smith. Uh, Yo. Tyler uh, the Liberal Jewish Marine. Uh, Smith. Uh, That's quite the title. Uh, what do you guys say? Who? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm pretty. I'm pretty liberal. Who? Oi vey. Hey Hoorah. What's up, people? Do you like the podcast? Okay. Want to support? Check it out. Go to rockfin.com forward slash Adam Hunter. R O K F I N dot com forward slash Adam Hunter and endorse me. Yes, it's $10 a month, right? And you get all the videos. I'm going to upload a video every single day. Every day, I'm going to upload a video, a comedy video, a heckler video, an MMA video, all kinds of videos, okay? I'll do live chats. And I'll, I'll put the video on, all right? And podcast videos, obviously, okay? I'm going to put them up there, and, uh, and it's awesome, okay? So if you uh, want to support me, all right, go to rokfin.com forward slash Adam Hunter. And there's a lot of great fighters are doing on there. Nick Diaz has a channel on that. You get Nick Diaz's videos if you go to mine. You get Ben Askren's videos. Okay, there's uh, Jordan Oliver, the great wrestler. He has videos up there. If you're into comedy, Graham Elwood. Okay, he's a really funny dude. If you're into politics, Mike Cernovich. Okay, if you're into right-wing politics, whatever you need, uh, ch- check it out. Go to R-O-K-F-I-N. It's a, it's a company that really... Uh, rewards uh, people that actually make stuff, all right? Content providers, okay? They, they, you know, a lot of these, these companies, they, 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 they give you pennies, okay? But not Rockfin. They actually, uh, it's, it's a really cool deal, um, and I'm, I'm happy to be with them, all right? So if you support the podcast and you say, Adam Hunter, I support you, and you want to see videos, because I will upload a video every single day, whether it's stand-up comedy, whether it's MMA Roasted, whether it's interviews, every day I'm putting up a video. Go to rockfin.com forward slash Adam Hunter. Click endorse, $10. You can cancel anytime. I want to thank our sponsor, Speedweed. Listen, marijuana is legal in California, and you don't have to leave your house to get it. They will deliver it right to you. Go to speedweed.com. They have THC sex lube. Uh, They have uh, THC edibles. They have CBD. Anything you need, they will give it right to you. Okay, go to speedweed.com. Mention roasted. You get $10 off. Orders $100 or more. And uh, they're great people. The guy Gino, he takes care of comics, takes care of fighters. Just a great guy. I mean, they have all kinds of marijuana, coffee. What did I give you the other day? Uh, the CBD bath bomb. CD, and how was that? Dope. Yes. It was awesome. Yeah. Smelled great. Yes. Yeah, Those dip C- patches are bomb too. Those dip patches. Oh, yeah, the little really candy bomb. dips. Yeah. Yeah, candy the joints dips. Joints are nice. <laughs> joints are, they, they work. <laughs> that, that marijuana, marijuana's pretty good. The marijuana yeah. really worked for me. I, I got to tell you. Speaking of which, a lot of people are hesitant to try hemp derived CBD oil. Because they don't know where to start, okay? They don't know where to start, so uh, that's not good, all right? And there are so many different products and brands, it's hard to know which products are right for you. How much to take, when to take it, how to know if you're getting too much. And there's a family-owned business I got to tell you about that only provides the highest quality U.S.-grown hemp-derived CBD products, but they also get personal guidance, okay? They'll actually reach out to you and tell you what you should be taking, all right? Their hemp That's is grown really cool. in the U.S. Cool. without the use of pesticides and it's mixed with organic MCT coconut oil. Each batch is a third-party lab test for potency and purity, and the results are posted on their website. They have a variety of products, including full-spectrum or whole-plant hemp oil extract, hemp-derived isolate tinctures, hemp and emu oil pain balm, Ooh. and... Full spectrum CBD dog shoes. And I know I'm getting my dog some of that because if I dog, <laughs> yeah, chill him yeah. the fuck out. No yeah. shit. Hell yeah. He and not in a bad, but he needs it. He he deserves it. Well, he deserves it. Right. All those products it. are available on naturesoilsonline.com, and they include free shipping in the U.S. Okay, you can call them directly to ask questions or place an order at four six nine. 
525-3131. That's 469-525-3131. A special offer for listeners of the show, Nature's mm-hmm. Oils is offering a 10% discount off to their already reasonable prices. When calling or checking out online, uh, use the discount, uh, discount code ADAM10 and get 10% off. All right? ADAM10. ADAM10. So check it out. Nature's online. And Do I, it. I, I know the guy, Christian. Really, really good guy. Michelle's his wife. She's awesome. So check it out. Uh, meanwhile, so... I do a show on Saturday night, The Laugh Factor, <coughs> and I'm, I'm feeling great. I, I'm, I hosted it. First, I did the storytelling show, which is like at the Ice House. I'm not really a storyteller. so That's this, true. I talked talk about the time that I got sued for $20 million in college. Can oh I tell you about that? No. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, well, $20 million. Like $20 million. million. Dollars. Yeah, this so is absurd. outrageous. That is so absurd. First of all, what I know. dipshit Why sues a college student for $20 million? Yeah, do we add, what, what dipshit thinks that's even a viable number exactly. to even sue exactly. someone for? Exactly. It's like, maybe, did you ask for a castle while he was $20. at it? And it went to, it went to the Supreme bucks. Court of Brooklyn. All right. Well, so, <laughs> get yeah. the fuck out. What that was actually the verdict. So, Get the fuck out. So I was, I was, all right, so I was wrestling in college. I got, you know, I was wrestling, but I was losing weight 15 pounds a week. I was bored. I was miserable, angry. I had to stay in Thursday nights to cut weight, and I was pissed because I was finally getting laid in college. Yes. But on, <laughs> on TV, they had Bingham on television, BTV. They had these public access shows. They would try to have real discussions about race relations or something, and I would call in from my dorm room. You can call directly in and be like, hey, you know, I think Devane's got a point. You're like, who? I go, Devane and my dick, and then hang up. <laughs> <laughs> my friends would laugh on the other, right? Yeah. So, so then like most got, tavern in their asses. So then I got burned down. Uh, I got burned out of wrestling, and I'm like, you know what? I'm like a loser now. That's all I had going for me. I'm like, I need my own show. I want my own show. So I, I went down to the studio, pretending to learn the equipment, and you know, <laughs> um, and they gave me a four-hour show. <laughs> Damn. On a Tuesday night, public called, access, baby, back called, in the day. But it was only on campus, public access. Oh, it wasn't okay. in the town, and, and it was called These Nuts, right? Oh my god. And this is in 1997, right? So. So awesome. I, so I, I go down there. I At the forefront the of the D's Nuts yeah. craze. Four hours. D's Nuts That's movement. Four times, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I go down there, and I think that all these girls, because I was on a show earlier for like five minutes, and girls were like, oh, you're pretty cute. So I'm like, oh, it's going to be great. I'm going to get pussy, blah, blah, blah. Right off the bat, people were like, are you Vanilla Ice or Corey Haim? <laughs> <laughs> Just murdering me. Like, whoa, whoa, what's wrong with your ear? Because my ear had a big collar. Yeah, yeah. And my head was shaved because freshmen had to get their head shaved for wrestling. So I, it was just that. I wore like it's a little... It's all still. I wore like a, awesome. a, a, a beret. <laughs> so, nice. <laughs> the wrestling oh, sure, head. the beret. So then I was like... I was getting murdered, but it was kind of fun. And I, and I had like a bunch of the guys in the wrestling team on and like some Budweiser chick that was a model and whatever. So then this girl calls up and she's like, my name is Hannah and everyone's going to talk shit about me. I know they will, right? I don't know who this girl is, but I'm happy they're not making fun of me. Yeah. People have been calling in. They're like, Hannah's a fucking whore. She stole my jeans. Damn, she, she stole like my jeans. She was like famous in her dorm, right? Mm-hmm. So, then she, so then she calls back and she's like, that guy Seth is a fat fuck. And I guess they're going back and forth. I guess, and Seth was like the so, captain of the soccer team. So you're right? the fucking Jerry Springer of, yeah. the, of the campus. <laughs> so she goes down to the studio to, to defend herself live on the air. Oh my God. She jumps in front of the camera and goes, Seth, she get his fat ass to the gym. Fuck him. Sits down. Now the whole school is watching, right? Everyone on campus. Oh, there's like video too. Everyone's watching. Fresh video. Yeah, it's all video. How did they find oh, out? Oh shit! This is like before cell phones. Right? Everyone, everyone, it's all in the dorms. Everyone's like, "Yo, put on BTV." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so people are calling Whoa. in. And oh like, damn it! People were like, "Hannah, can I park my car up your snatch?" You know, just <laughs> saying, <laughs> saying the most. And one girl's like, "You stole my jeans, you fucking whore!" You know, take your. <laughs> and she had a big Jewish star. She was from Queens. They're like, "Take, take that Jewish star and stick it up your ass." I mean, just. Crazy, Jeez, and, I, and I was dude. laughing at like the Hush earlier words. stuff. I was laughing; it was funny. Right? Yeah, it's funny. So but then, still she, she, so then she goes back. I wasn't laughing at that part, but I was laughing at other parts. <laughs> so then she goes back to her dorm, and people are chanting her name, and they're throwing water oh, balloons shit. at her. Like so, then then, then the kids. That's fucked up. Then the, Hot mentality takes over fast, baby. Dude, for <laughs> reals, man. And then the kid Seth that she hooked up with, the big fat guy that wouldn't hook up with her because he was like, he comes on. The, the, the station to, to talk shit about her and he's like Hannah you wouldn't let me touch your tits he's drunk he's like did you have big pepperoni nipples right it's so like you wouldn't let me touch your tits yeah so then like so then like so now she decides so now she like drops out of school right after because now she's being harassed yeah and then there were no more shows on Binghamton television for like eight months they had, they had to have a disclaimer uh, so then she sues the school for 20 million dollars Sues me for twenty million for negligence, oh and sues fuck? the kid Seth for twenty million. She has a sixty million dollar lawsuit going on, right? How, like, and, 
And my she ran on your show. Like, yeah. what? How is that your fault? So then, and like, my dad was like, "You go to school for two months. You come home with a sixty million dollar <laughs> fucking lawsuit. <laughs> Can't just go to class like everyone else." Like, <sighs> so then, You're like, no, dad, I'm a star. So then, right now, I'm the most infamous kid at school. People are pointing at me at parties, like, oh, "That's the kid from D's nuts." Well, it was. I challenge a lot of people to fight. So I'm like, "Come down here, I'll fuck you up." You know, I was a little nervous. <laughs> a little nervous. Shit. He's nuts, bitch. It, it wasn't my finest hour. It was my first show, you yeah. know. But I, I did. I held my own. That's pretty fucking awesome, still well, though. So then I was like, "I had a meltdown, oh, but it was funny." Yeah, <laughs> like 18. 18. Yeah. So then I'm like, "I need, I need friends fast." So I joined a fraternity, right? And they're like, "Awesome." The SAE. They call it Sigma Alpha Hair Salon. The life choices I, we make. I hated everyone. <laughs> I didn't like anybody really. I had a couple friends, but I'm like, this is, they were like hazing me, and you have to respect your brothers. I'm like, oh, this is so stupid. Who are you? But and I, I needed people to vouch that I was a good guy. Otherwise, I'd be these nuts for four years, right? So then I was, <laughs> there was a girl that I was trying to pick up at like the breakfast. This girl, Tatiana, hot Puerto Rican chick. And I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm giving dance class. Oh, we're having, we're having dance uh, auditions today for the black dance repertoire. I'm like, you have to be black? She's like, no. So I try out for the team. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and my I, God. Like, made, I made of course you did, because you know, used to be a very good da- He's a good dancer. But I was the only one. Great dancer. He's I've a seen surprisingly that video. good dancer. Yeah. I was I mean, the worst guy. on the team, okay? But I was better than everybody else. Like, But my, still my, the my best white guy on the yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was the only white guy. It was like affirmative action. That's all you need to be, dude. But I got out of pledging. The only one. But I got out of pledging because of the black dance team. Oh, so nice. like, and I, cause I got to go to practice all the time. So I mm. won most dedicated member of the black dance team in 1997. Oh my fucking God. Do you have that plaque still? <laughs> I did, they give you, did they give you like a- I would have held on to that bitch for life, dude. I would have yeah. wanted, I would have had that shit buried with dude, dude, who you. Who would have thought shot of you like up on an elbow? Yeah, like who would have thought 2019, that's still your greatest accomplishment. Wow, yeah, no. I'm <laughs> but, 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 these, but these nuts is what got me into show business. I'm yeah. like, dude, you could have fun and have a career at this? Like, I wasn't a career, but I'm like, this is the greatest time of, I never laughed so hard in my life. That's yeah. fucking awesome. But uh, anyway, so Saturday night, laugh. I did, I did the Laugh Factory, and then I have an audition for America's Most Wanted, right? Uh, to be like Wait, a, a, a de- Most Wanted. To be a detective, like in like a, oh yeah, like a, when they do the reenactments, the reenactments. and shit. Yeah. So oh like, my god! Dude. If I seen you in that shit, I don't know how I'd react. I, I can see you being uh, a racist cop on America's Most Wanted. Based college. on this audition, you're not going to see me on this anytime soon. Because uh, okay. <laughs> because I look at it at like three in the morning. Did you bring your own trench coat? Well, it's like all these, <laughs> first of all, they have me for like a 50 year old detective, right? I walk uh, in and the lady's what? like, what role are you here for? And she's like, really? This, it's like this black woman, nice black woman. Yeah. So I get there and uh, she immediately starts doing the wrong scene. She's like, so where's your wife? That's not even in the, right. I go, uh, at Coachella, you know? And oh she's like, God. oh, sorry, wrong scene, you know? And then she's like, you're not going to, she's like, I'm going to use my line, my sides, because I hadn't really memorized. She's like, oh, just improv. So I like. Did your wife go to Coachella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to hear that story. No, for work, right? So, so then I do the scene. Work. And like the last scene is like, yeah, you know. And then I go up to the bathtub, and there's blood here, and blood there, and and, and it was and it was a complete mess. So we knew it was a. But uh, I like screwed up. I was improvising, and I did that part first, and I was like, yeah, uh, some bad stuff went down. <laughs> <laughs> like a detective would ever be like, so, so some, bad, st- some bad, bad stuff went down. Something really bad happened here, for sure. <laughs> Whatever it was, it wasn't good. Totes. The lady started laughing. I was like, "Nobody do it again." She goes, "No." <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Yeah, why are you doing it again? <laughs> no, I'm good. I think that told me everything. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Dude, those bad. rooms are scary too. Audition rooms? Those rooms are scary, yeah, man. They are. Like, depending on the room. Depending on the room. But it's like, like, I've only been in total one. Power over you. Like, there's nothing you can do. Depending on how prepared you are, too. When, yeah. you're, when you're not prepared, you're, you're like. Uh, there's two different kinds of reads that can really fuck you up. The one where they read really fast. Mm-hmm. Where they're just trying to get through their lines, like, okay, that's really affecting my timing and yeah. how I prepared this scene, you know. And and then the other ones who do it just emotionless, yeah. like they're just reading words, like right. they're reading a book. Right. And that's why I said you can't go there, you know. Stop, or you will have to turn around again. You know, you're like, okay, I can't. <laughs> okay, your yeah. bad acting is affecting my bad acting. You have right. to you're rubbing off on well, me. Well, like yeah. it's like they've they've decided. If I feel like if it's one of those, they've decided like before you even start the read. You know, no, that's like, not yeah, always I the like case. I think guy. sometimes they want to see if you could, you know, kind of work Get with anything. It. 
you know, how whoever's reading with you. Hey, acting is reacting. And, and okay. yeah, exactly, pretty much. Acting is but reacting. But you know what? Uh, I went to one audition recently where the casting director was so good. She was so, so good in the scene. I was like, I was intimidated <laughs> to be acting. I was like, how are you not the star of the show? Are you the lead? Is this a joke? Are you auditioning people yourself for your own show? Because she was <laughs> phenomenal and hot. Damn. Nice. Yeah. It was, I was, I swear to God, I was immediately intimidated. <laughs> Damn. So what's going on with you guys? Vince, what's going on with you? You quit your job. Yes, I quit job. Oh, fuck, man. Have you been training more? Because you all I, trimmed down now. I have been, yes. Yeah, I'm super skinny right now. Yeah. I, uh, I quit job. I quit my job. I quit school. I'm full-time fighter again. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I am fucking super stressed, but... Back I'm from hell, push out. From hell, push out, baby. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just a little uncomfortable because I don't have that... I don't have that... that uh, Steady income. Yeah, I don't yeah. have that backup contingency, you know what I mean? Like if I, worst comes worst, I go, like, oh, I'll just go to work. You know, I don't have that now. Or, but, but it's good for me because I strive the most when I'm the most uncomfortable. So like... Well, if you ever need a job as a, a nanny or a manny, I have a job right for you. <laughs> <laughs> you could always crash here, man. I can uh, use your dude, help. That, pay you eight that bucks dog right there, dude, I'm, I'm pretty close to throwing that dog at the window Who's on the freeway. That, by the way? That's my aunt's dog. Yeah. I'm watching it. Uh, it's actually, she's actually a pretty awesome dog. Uh, but dogs are super needy and I don't like it. That's why I have cats. Now, what about that beautiful <laughs> African-American woman that was sleeping with you at your house? <laughs> Dore? Yeah. Uh, we're, we're still hanging out. Uh, I like her. She's cool. Um, seen each other for a little bit. It's pretty cool. Is she rich? Uh, no. You got to get one of those. A rich one? Yeah. I know. That's like the ultimate, right? You Sugar really Daddy, do. I mean, mama. you listen. Mama, Why do you do all this tra- fighter training if you're not going to go get yourself a sugar mama? Because he likes I know. girls with tattoos and glasses. I know. And I like him super trashy. You have and- those on the side. No. Uh, yes. Yeah, but right. then, then, the, then the money ones <laughs> yes. get jealous, you know? Like- yeah, you just got to keep that shit separate. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you. You can get codes, one. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but but I'm doing that. Um, I'm actually looking to, you know what I was going to do is, and I already started doing this, is Stripping. I'm going to. <laughs> Stripograms. <laughs> I still do that on the side. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to start doing like some technique videos. Um, oh, that's I'm going to start cool. doing some kickboxing technique videos, uh, kind of share some wisdom. I'm going to do some collaborations with some guys, too. Like, um, I'm going to talk to some of the guys. Uh, I started training at Muscle Farm again with Jason Manley, so I'm going to talk nice. to him about it. I'm going to do some with my coach, Brian, because he already does it. I'm, I was going to talk to you about it. So I kind of want to do stuff like that. Maybe start a channel and do some cool stuff like that. Now, how's the word how, with Muscle Farm is TJ? How's the word over there? It's, it's like his gym, right? Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't, honestly, I, don't, I can care less about people's dirty laundry. Not anymore. Yeah. What? He's at Training Lab. Oh, he's a training lab. Yeah. Wasn't he at Muscle Farm at one point? Or yeah, he was a little he was bit. Like a big the whole farm Elevate guy, team but. went to Muscle Farm, didn't they? Because like, well, he was Muscle Farm. I'm not sure about it. I know Matt else. Brown was or is. Matt Brown was, yeah. yeah. Matt Brown is still, but yeah. Matt, Matt Brown was out here, but then he just moved back. Yeah, he just he, was, he just moved back. Yeah, but he was gonna yeah, move out here, at, but it didn't work at out. Training lab. He's a with the uh, with the. Uh, and what's going on with you? Are you fighting again or what? No. Yeah, what's going on, huh? No. no. Probably no. not. All I mean, sad. as long as long I, first thing I am he says sad. to me is, first thing he says to me, look, I still got black eyes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he does Fucking black guy, eyes. he does, he I does. Know, yeah. By the way, your yeah, mom DM me, by the way, on Instagram. Oh, did Whoa, she? Yeah, did she yeah. now? Yeah. Let's hear the mom. juicy beats. Oh. Woo. I think I, was, I think I was like at something with like baby, Tyler. a baby video. And oh, she's yeah. like, this makes me so happy. And I'm like, who's this? And I'm like, your mom's kind of hot. She's kind of young looking, your mom, Dude, by the way. I've How young hear, looking? I've been hearing that since I was like 15. <laughs> oh, man. That's got to be tough like to have a hot mom, man. All your friends want to come over was, for no dude, reason. It wasn't just, from everybody, but like. I'll say, I'll say that shit, too. I hated yeah, it. One of my, dude, one of my, one of my really good friends who I grew up with would just. He would just. Do it just to get right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just to get a ride. Do you have sisters? Do you have sisters? No, I have I'm sisters. An, so like, child. fucking, I hear see, sister shits here. Uh, so see, like, I feel like that would be worse. Yeah, yeah motherfuckers, like, dude. Like, uh, all right, what are you a fighter? <laughs> Yeah, like, where for my sister? <laughs> his mom's like a dancer, though. But like, what? Yeah, my mom. And where? Like screaming rhino? Oh. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was like, dude, let's get some singles. She, get down yeah, there. she was a she was a professional ballerina. From like eighteen to twenty, she on Instagram twenty two, twenty three, and then was on like broad. Yeah, Andy four by four, four x four. Great, now you're gonna get everybody. <laughs> oh my god, what's the four by four <laughs> for? Yeah, that's four that's been her an email ass. since like junior high. I was in like junior high because she likes wood. What it was? No, we had <laughs> she likes a four by four. She likes wood. We had uh, four wheel drive trucks when I was growing up. Oh, so. okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think she likes four dudes at a time. 
I'm kidding, too. I'm sorry. All right. Sorry, Mom. Go. No, that's cool. I sorry, love you. Mom. No, I oh, my God. She I know you're going to oh listen God, to this. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Your mom. I was and like, I'm your so sorry. She's so sweet. She's, she's very, like, artist. Like, very, like, an artist. She is. Well, now she's a marriage and family therapist. Oh, okay. So, and wow. so is my stepdad. Yeah, they're both, like, she's very bohemian, uh, private though. practice. But, yeah, she, like, she's just got back into dancing, ballet. Hmm. I think that's where I get, like, a lot of my movement from is from her. And my dad was a dancer, too. So it didn't come out of my fight, but yeah, Vince has yeah. watched yeah. me he's practice. Pretty, he's pretty like bendy. I, he's pretty yeah. bendy. Yeah. Oh, oh is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very bendy. Can't, um, but, yeah, she, she's, <laughs> she's doing it. Video, Chris, Chris and and, and it doesn't surprise me that she DM'd you. No, it's very all. sweet. Like, it was she, like, she loves getting into it was, people's it lives. It was so nice. <laughs> it was like, it was something that a mom did. She's the infiltrator. It was like your mom said, like, these videos that She's so a Jewish happy lady. or something like the, the singing with the kids. I love him too though. I watch him with the, you and the baby and I'm oh, like yeah. she's so cute. It's nice. She was sent to the doctor today 9:30 it's not, it's the, the damn. Oh, okay. oh virus, stomach virus. Wait, so uh-huh. how are you Greg? What's going I'm on? I'm good, here? man. I was in Cincinnati Greg's looking doing up my the, I'm trying to look up his mom, but it's Andy with an eye, of course. Of course. And a little heart. I got to figure it all out. Uh and four by four. Four by four. I got the four by four part. That I got right. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I was in Cincinnati. I was opening for Craig Robinson again this weekend. which nice. is uh, It's always fun to hang Did out with him. Is he white, black crowd? Uh, I would say 50-50. Because he has the office people. He has the office people and then, yes, the, the black crowd. And so I would say it's, a, it's about 50-50. That's cool. Which is unique. You don't see crowds like that that often. And in fact, the front table, front center table, one of the shows, there was this white young couple, super white, and then these older black ladies. Transparent on the, on the other side, I was like, did they just sit you guys together or did you guys somehow come as a group? And they're like, no, they sat us together. I was like, oh, that makes sense because yeah. to be honest, you look like you came from different rallies. And, uh, and everyone, like, they, it was such a, it was one of those, ah, ooh. And then I was like, oh, shut the fuck up. We got to be able to laugh about this shit. That's what we're here to do. And then everybody, ah, okay. So, so that was a, a lot of fun. Um, uh, you, of course, uh, are familiar with Todd Rex. T-Rex, yeah. T-Rex, yeah. He used to, obviously, used to co-host this show sometime yeah. back. And anyway, so he was there, too. He, was, he goes with Craig everywhere. Yeah, of course. Uh, he's his regular feature. And so, uh, so the first night... Okay, I'm out front smoking a J, and I hear a knocking on a window, and I turn around, and <laughs> there's T Rex's ass pressed <laughs> up against the window from his him? hotel. Yes, he's like 60 years full. Old. I know, and it, I, and, the, and, the, and he has, some, and, and he doesn't look like he Did has that much goat? ass. Did he but that, when it spread onto oh. a, a glass pane, oh, no, it was quite. It was a lot of ass. So then the next day, what happens I, with the wrinkles? What happens with the wrinkles when it's pressed up against the grass like that? The glass. Uh, it actually loses. Is a bit of color. It looks whiter than I think it normally is. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So a very lot. There was a lot of ground, though. It was quite a the bit. blood apart. Yeah, there was some. So then, <laughs> so then, then, so then, the next day, uh, I was doing this gag. I was doing the Mario gag. And t- and Craig grabs it, you know. I go on stage, I'm like, I'm Mario, you know, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I look like Mario oh, from, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. But I actually have the costume. Ooh. Summer and I went as Mario and Luigi this last Halloween, <laughs> and so I have the Mario Mario, Mario costume. And and Craig goes, Hey man, did you bring that Mario costume? <laughs> I was like, No, I didn't bring the Mario costume. He goes, Oh man, that's too bad. I bet, but I could have Summer overnight it. So <laughs> Summer overnighted the costume. So we had the costume, ah, nice. okay. God. So I'm doing. And so we did that's this whole dope. gag where we were making fun because they they're very. How much famous. was the overnight that? Costume. Like twenty five bucks. That's it. That's it. Damn. And so then the so oh, of course that was from the post office who did not get it there overnight <laughs> oh, and in fact got it there two, three to five days. Yeah, totally. It, it, show, it showed up two days later. So we we oh at least got God. to use it on Saturday. Oh, hey, Sunday. federal government, can yeah. I trust you with something? It, it was so. No? I was like, I can't oh. believe you didn't go to UPS. And she was <laughs> like, it was just so much cheaper. And it's like a money back guarantee. Exactly. So we, so it's like here, we're probably just gonna give you this money back, but just in case. What What do you do when like comics? The comics hit you up and say, "Can I open for you?" And you're like, "Don't want them to open for you." Or you're like, "Hey, you like they find out what club you're working." <laughs> like, like, yeah, do you mind no. if uh, if I feature for you here? I'm always like. I'm like I always tell I don't book the feature even if I do sometimes. sometimes yeah that's exactly that's the best deflection is to be like oh they already booked the feature yeah yeah that's usually what I use it's, it's annoying I'm- or it's already booked well I'll, th- I'll, th- I'll catch up with you next time the problem with saying that though is then they start checking with you every time they see you have a gig oh. which sucks and it's like dude I don't uh, I don't want to tell you that you're not ready or yeah. that I just well that's the other thing right. and that's the problem is every headliner has an arm long list of f- good friends who are comics yeah. who they could take on the road with them that are in line before you yeah you know we're gonna because we gotta hang out 
for three days. There's that nothing seems- worse than having to having a feature that you actually don't know and you have this forced relationship with for the week. Yeah, well, and if you don't. That get seems like a better a better. Oh, yeah, that yeah. could make for some good comedy though on your fucking show. Yeah, that just seems like a better um, like a a better deflection. Than anything, of like what? oh sorry, like I have. There's a long list of people in front of you, man. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Yeah, but sometimes I do like, say that. But if they, you don't they, understand that, then but they get take the fuck that personally. The like yeah. they're or just like no. they're like I'm better than all of them, you know. And it's, okay, comics I mean, are the most sensitive people. Yeah. Okay. So here's the, the okay. So I'm changing out of the Mario suit after doing the <laughs> gag on stage, which the audience would wild for, and so I'm getting out of the suit, and I I I think I hear T Rex coming. Yeah. So I decide I'm getting him back. So I take <laughs> off the, the fucking thing. I chop my pants, and I mean, I spread them. I mean, full brown eyes right towards the door. And what happened? And T Rex walks in, and he's like, ah! And he was like, man, you a gambler. What the fuck if that hadn't been me, motherfucker? <laughs> you would have brown eyed somebody else like that? I was like, I was willing to take the risk, bro. I had to get you back. <laughs> Baller move, dude. There were kids in my high school that used to be like, hey, I bet you can't do an atomic sit up. And they're like, I'm like, I can do that. That's when someone lies down, and you put a, a towel over their head, and you go, they go up, and then someone else runs in front of them, drops their hands, and they go right into the guy's ass. asshole. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, one kid ran away right after that happened. And they had to like, and they had to, <laughs> the kid that put his face in the ass. <laughs> he was like, I've been, I was already considering running away. He got punched really just, on your nose. This really just put it over. So, all right, let's talk I about. I could trust you guys. Let's talk about the fights. First of all, Boston <laughs> Salmon, that sucked. That was rooting for him. You, you watched the fights? I watched three of them. Okay. Well, you watched Boston Salmon? I watched the fights. I don't know. He was the first guy that got that. Very first, yeah. He just got hit by Khalid Taha. One punch, he was I'm out. Was it on the fight? Yeah, but you were yeah. just excited about his name. No, I liked him. I'll tell you, Max Griffin he did met great. Him. Remember, he yeah, he did. Max car. Griffin oh, did that's really right. Well. Max Griffin actually did great. Uh, I'm happy for him because that was a close one. That I guy. I want to say I started on a female fight. Uh, what did Lauren. you think of what, what did you think of Islam grabbing the cage on that? That like I'm happy the guy took a, a, a point away. You know, you like that. Have you ever grabbed the cage before in a fight? Yeah, but so, like sometimes it's not really like on purpose. It's kind yeah, of just a reactionary like a react- thing, yeah. you know. And he he might have, he might not have, but who knows? You can't really. I wasn't there, so I don't like you know. I saw, I only saw, so who knows? Your boy know. Wilson Hayes. Ugh. Yeah, that was heartbreaking for me. Fuck. You think it's because he loses eighty pounds before each fight? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, dude. <laughs> He's a fucking giant. Like, I'm not kidding. He walked yeah. up with some crazy. He was the guy we were talking about that loses 80 pounds, yeah. and we were like, that sounds yeah. completely impossible like and unhealthy. 60 pounds, yeah, I, yeah. He is. He is just a monster for 20 for 25 for 35. He's huge. Yeah, and I don't know. For 45, he, that's huge, dude. Yeah, I don't. And what, did you, what did you walk around at? <laughs> Jesus, because you were Christ. laughing at him. He said he was 160, and you started laughing at his face. Laughing at his face. Oh, there's no fucking way, dude. He was at one. Oh my god. Oh, uh, you were talking about we're at the fights, right? Yeah. He was probably like. <laughs> He's probably like 75, 80. He's probably around there. And he fights at 25. And that was like... And he fights at 25. That is been, he might have been closer to 75. He might have been closer to 70. I mean, he might have been 70, 75, but he was... He is not small at all. He is not light for that weight class. I don't know how he even loses the weight, honestly. Like 50, 50 pounds over... Two months out, but six he, weeks out. But he diets it like, like I don't. He, I love I it. He's probably, dude, honestly, he's probably he's draining food. blood out of himself. <laughs> like it's all water weight. I don't know, but but if you ever like man, grappler man. or like yeah, you don't have any it. chance to hug that dude or like get a hold of him. Like it's a fucking. It's like grabbing Nightmare, a turtle shell, dude. dude. Mm, it's like hold, like grabbing him is like grabbing onto a turtle shell. <laughs> and our uh, buddy lost Jalen Turner, the uh, tarantula guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, you there during oh, yeah. that. Interview. Mm-mm. He he owned like 150 tarantulas. That was his whole thing. Yeah, that's so crazy. He like sold them. Sounds like he's gonna I have a sell really few. Cool. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> Sounds like he's gonna be down to five. <laughs> All right. So that was. That Sounds was, like he's gonna sell some. So that was that. Uh, the, the main card. Let's talk about the main card. First of all, Kelvin Gastelum. Ah. Oh. Man, I was rooting for Kelvin Gaston in that fight. And he almost pulled Me it too. Off. That was but such you know, an awesome dude, fight. Dude, okay. He surprised the First hell of all, of you were talking about how he was going to use his wrestling, zero wrestling, and then the one time he tried to go for wrestling was the absolute wrong time to do it. Like, he had the guy hurt. He was reeling, was in the knockout position. He's like, I'm going to take him down. Like, that was the only time he shouldn't have done it. It's yeah. the only time he tried. What, what, there, that pissed me off, man. That was so weird. It, 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 yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Is that instinct? I th- no, I think it was like it's like was a he just moment so tired? of self doubt. 
Oh, oh really? I don't know. Yeah, honestly, yeah. like Dude. that's that's what I saw. He I saw him, him so sitting hurt. there, like, and you know, like this, I can end this right now. Yeah, and you just can't pull the trigger, and it's like, go to what I'm good at, and go to that that takedown. That's yeah. what I saw. Some, some he, I he might have so much. Like, I don't want to speak for Kelvin, but it. You're thinking that's what, yeah, one of the few like, options mentally that could have happened. Yeah, I personally felt like it. he just had an uncomfortable moment in the fight and, yeah, and lost came. his. Uh, but it was after lost a head his kick. like train of thought. A beautiful head kick and a punch. Yeah, but or it doesn't maybe, matter. Maybe dude. he could have like yeah. he had him ro- like. How do I have this guy rocked right now? This there's no way. But it was really? so obvious. Yeah. The guy was, yeah, he, but like, he, I mean, he had him. Dude, there's so much shit that goes through your head. Yeah, yeah. maybe, maybe he thought he was playing possum. Like, that's he true. Maybe he was afraid out, of getting like, caught coming yeah. in. You know what I mean? Like, but then he, I don't know. Who fucking knows? In the, in the heat of the moment, there's a lot of shit that runs through your head in like fractions of a second. So yeah. who fuck, who if he wins that knows? last round, he wins that fight. I think I had, I had a 2 2 yeah. going into the last. Yeah, me too. Did you look at the stats though? <laughs> like, yeah, ten versus six landed punches. Kevin Gaslam had 92 total strikes. Yeah, total. Nin- 91 of them were significant. <laughs> Jeez. He had 98 significant strikes and only threw uh, uh, 50 punches. Like, he, like some of them oh, yeah. like twice. Yeah. yeah he's, he's, I mean, look, the thing is that Kelvin, it's not even his right so weight class. Whole fight. He's not even, he's a 170 pounder. Yeah. He could be a 55 be, yeah, pounder. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the fact Probably that, could. I mean, everyone's like saying how, look, how they think that what's name is the real deal, but I don't know. I think Chris Weidman, if he doesn't get caught, Kevin Kevin Gaslam is slightly smaller than me. I, I have an inch of reach and then an inch of height on. Do you think Stylebender? Do you yeah. think Stylebender is the real no deal? Way. Huh? Do you think Stylebender is the real deal? Were you impressed by him, or were you kind of like he showed a lot of flaws? I th- I think uh, I think <clears throat> I think it would take someone like Justin Gaethje who who will put the pressure on him yeah. to to take him out. Guys because are afraid to put pressure on him because he he's pretty game, accurate. He's, but he's also like, he's also down. Yeah, to but fight. not necessarily has to be him, but yeah. just someone that could put that pressure in his face because that's how you stop a technical guy like that. A guy who's gonna gonna pick you up for, apart from the outside. You need to put that pressure in his face and who, you gotta well, eat the some shots, Kelvin but that's what you have to do. Kelvin pressured doing, him the whole fight. Yeah, Kelvin was doing that, and like I think that's the he, difference between Israel Adesanya and like some of these other quote unquote technical strikers that he's down to fucking fight. Yeah. Like. And he showed it in that fight. Like, he's down to just go blow for blow yeah. and just throw back and forth. Well, in that first round, so when he hit him that, that combo, that two-punch combo that, I mean, rocked Gaslam in the first yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, and who knows, too, that, though, when that Adesanya looks, hits him and rocks well, him, that, 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 that takes may have a lot been what he was too. thinking about, too, when he was coming in on that I second. Gaslam I mean, won the first round. I thought he won the first <laughs> and the, and the, the fourth. Uh, he lost the second, the third, yeah. and the fifth, right? I think that was yeah, it. I think yeah. so. Um, I mean, he Gaslam hurt him in the first round. Yeah. But that was... How do you think Wyman does against him? If he doesn't get caught, if Wyman gets caught, it's over. Now, yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's the same kind of fight, just a little different, more not as as dirty boxing, more like because Wyman's long too. But I think it would still be a, a primarily boxing match with some some kicks thrown here and there. Should they have stopped the fight at the end? Because the now John Anik is yelling, "Stop the fight." You know, Joe Rogan is like, you should stop it right here, right? But he was still defending himself. I felt like the ref was just letting him finish. Yes. Yes. He was like, he's so close. I don't want to call it right here. Right, exactly. He feels... He's obviously gassed. It was like he was more tired than hurt at that point. Yeah. Like he was just holding on to make it to the bell, and I felt and the ref was letting him do that. And he could have been to, he could have been telling the ref like, "I'm okay. I'm just tired. I'm okay. Right, I'm tired." Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because that's what I felt was going on there. It was pretty interesting. Well, yeah. we, I talked about it last night. <coughs> when I I watched it again. Um, to who? Last who? night with my roommate, and oh. we were talking about like we were saying like. If, it, if that's a different fight, if that's a three-round fight where he's getting the shit kicked out of him the whole time and then that's the end of it, stop it. But if it's a back and forth, it's two to two, potentially this round is deciding it, like you can't just take that away from Kelvin. You know what I yeah, mean? But like, had, yeah, but it already, could have yeah. easily been already, stopped, but you can't. You, yeah, but like, had, the ref is yes like, you no, can't fucking do that. But he had obviously that, lost that know? round. Though. Well, he lost that round, but like, who knows? Who knows what the refs see? Yeah. Like you can't as the as the ref there or what the judges see rather, but as the ref there, I feel like it's like five seconds left when he actually started like really just covering up. Let it go. The, I, let it go. I, the five. I was really proud of Kelvin. I thought he fought amazing. You know, obviously I was biased towards him. He's a friend of mine. Yeah, you're right. It just that 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 
five seconds would have made the biggest. But you don't, you don't know if he would have had him out. Out. I mean, he was rocked. But we've seen guys recover. But no. Out. But he, he, he was already. I mean, he'd been rocked for a few seconds there already. Yeah. yeah but we've like, seen if it was guys, a quick recovery moment, it would have happened. Was he was rock rocked. But there was thirty seconds left in the round. It wasn't yeah, like it was. If there was thirty seconds left. Stop. stop. No, no. I'm saying with when Kelvin rocked him in the fourth. There was about still like 30 seconds left. It wasn't like it was at 10 seconds into the round. It doesn't matter. You go for the kill. No, but I'm saying it's not like he definitely would have finished him. That's what I'm trying to say. You're right. You can't mm-hmm. say that he definitely would have, but that was definitely his best chance yeah. at winning the and, fight and you were, right there. And it was definitely a, one of those moments of like, oh. Yes, yeah. because he hadn't been bothering with the wrestling all night, and he never bothered with it again. Was that more of that, that than the Chael Sonnen moment when he got caught in the triangle against Anderson Silva? Oh, my God. <laughs> when that fucking happened, I lost my shit. I could I not believe so that happened. I was so pissed when that happened. I was like. <laughs> I loved it. I had to go on stage. I had like the worst out of my life. I was like, <laughs> you would think somebody died. But, like, the one time, like, one time there was a fight like that going on in like a big fight, and I go on stage and I could see in the corner of this, like in the back of the comedy club, they're still playing it on a TV. Yeah. And the whole time I'm looking over. <laughs> I'm just like, this is not like, fair what, to these people what, who paid what? to come to this show. All right, so Dustin Poirier beat Max Holloway. I didn't, I didn't see that happening. Uh, that was. I didn't either. I well, didn't either until I started I watching did. the fight. <laughs> oh my God, Dustin was tagging did him you up. Did you see that happening? Well, how did you see that happening? They have similar styles, but to me, Poirier has a little more power. Yeah. That he was evident. He he's a That's little what more. It came down to, really. He's a little more con- cautious, conscientious, conscientious of. Uh, uh, yeah, of, of being in the pocket than Max is, where Max will sit there and just start swinging, you know what I mean? Yeah. Dustin's <laughs> swinging with, with his eyes open, watching at the well, whole time. Was that the same Max Holloway that fought the other guy? Yeah. That, uh, okay, you, yes. think, you think he would have beaten it? Like, yes. It didn't, didn't seem like it was... It was the same exact Max Holloway. Now he's fighting a guy the same size who hits harder than him and who can take his punches. It's or crazy. even bigger, yeah. MMA, yeah. Like how MMA math doesn't work, though. I mean, Michael Johnson knocks out Poirier... Uh, and then loses long to, time ago. Yeah, yeah, yes. But like, different. That's a different fight. Korean Zombie that's beats a different fighter. Beats, beats Poirier. A lot of guys beat yeah. Poirier, and like yeah. you look at where he is now. I mean, he was six months ago. He, reti- he was like super young too. Then. Six yes. months ago, he, he was super young then too. Six now months ago, he's he like retired from the UFC. Remember, now. he he's he a, to leave the yeah. UFC six months he ago. Has, he has like the most fights in the UFC, doesn't he? He's got oh, a he's lot of like something close, unbelievable. So like, but all those losses, you're like, oh, this guy beats him. This guy beats him. That was like. Five six years ago. Okay. Like, yeah, Yo, you're right. He's a fucking I different think the guy. Now. Fight That's what he's... I was thinking because I'm watching him. Like, this is a much better fighter yeah. than what I was expecting. Yeah. He was always great, and and even in the but... first few moments, I was like, oh, Max is gonna get him. Oh, I felt com- confident. I was like, oh, Max. and then all of a sudden, pap pap pap, and I was like, yeah. oh shit. Yeah, you see Max take that first one, like, oh. I think the Gaethje oh, fight. Yeah. I, I think the Gaethje <laughs> fight. <laughs> oh, okay. oh yeah. I think the Gaethje was a turning point in, Max, in uh, Dustin's career. For sure. Because that fight was like, people were picking Gaethje for that fight. Yeah. They're like, oh, this is, and then he just outclassed Gaethje. Yeah. And just beat him up. Fucked him and up. And look yeah. at how good Gaethje looks now. People are yeah. giving him a shot against Khabib. Yeah. Poirier Khabib. How does that go? <laughs> <laughs> Khabib. All day. Khabib. <laughs> Khabib, you I'm can't sorry, go against yeah. Khabib, man. I, no, absolutely not. Are you guys, I can't, I mean, you guys are the fighters, so maybe I should be considering this more deeply. <laughs> but I mean, no. And I mean, Khabib all day. And yeah, twice on Khabib. Sunday. I don't even, I mean, Poria, yeah, he looked great versus Max Holloway, but I mean, this is a guy who beat up Conor McGregor. Beat him up. Yeah. I don't know. I, to me, I, I wouldn't take oh, anybody yeah. versus Khabib right now. It does now. seem like Poirier does really well against strikers. But we haven't seen him against somebody with like bear strength like yeah. Khabib. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, he does have a black belt in jujitsu or in thug jitsu. A lot of people have black belts in jitsu against uh, you know, but it just yeah, like, exactly, exactly. It just like, I'm telling you, the guy that you fought, I think, has the best shot against Khabib. Oh, oh, Gregor. G- Gregor Gillespie, the guy's a uh, national so. champion wrestler. Really? Yeah, I don't think is. I don't think so. I think Khabib would. I think Khabib would smash. You act like you were in the corner. You were in the cage with him or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just think it's a different kind of wrestling. And Khabib has a has a better striking style too. So I think I think Khabib would just. I think Khabib would outclass him because they're like the same guy, but Khabib's just like a better version of him to me. But well, but I can't believe Khabib's how like good. Yeah, but like look, yeah, he's Tyler's like a, a good Tyler's a good wrestler. That could strike. Tyler would do very well against. A lot of wrestlers in MMA and, and, and Bellator and the UFC, yeah. and he said that you were smoking him. And no disrespect, but he was like, "Fucking 
and, and, and this dude was taking you down, right? So how is he a different level? I can't describe it, dude. Like, you just have to, like, you just have to, you just have to know what it's like to go with someone that has such an ability that there's nothing you can fucking do to stop it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure you've wrestled with people that oh, yeah. you were just like, yeah. You can't fucking do anything. You just feel so yeah. helpless. Well, you know what I mean? You can't like, even run away. Yeah. yeah like, you like, can't even, like... And that's a, but not only counter it, you can't even... But you, never, but you haven't rolled with Khabib yet, ever, have you? No, but, it, look, he does it to everyone. No one can, no one can stop his, his, his double leg or a single leg. Like, the way he... When he grabs the leg, he doesn't let go. Wasn't it, Who's that guy from Dagestan you fought? The guy that suplexed you? Um... Uh, fuck, I can't think of it. He must really suplex Rustum, you, Rustum, Rustum Rustum must have you pretty hard. Yeah, Rustin Kevlar. <laughs> <laughs> he has a weird name. But now he was from Dagestan, right? Yeah, he trains with Khabib, I think. Okay. I think they yeah. train together. Dude, it was, a cra- it was the craziest yeah, thing, right? Yeah, they all train so, They're all cousins or so, something. Yeah. They're, they're like Mexicans. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Vince is like undefeated, right? Vince is undefeated. Easy. <laughs> Mexicans of Russia. <laughs> Easy. Easy, it's true. So this is how this is how dope Vince is, right? So Vince is undefeated. He loses the ally at Kinta in a two-round fight, right? Two-round fight? Yeah, two-round fight. All right. Then he goes and against is, is this dude who's this Russian guy from Dagestan, mm. suplexes him on his head, knocks him out with a suplex, right? Mm. His next fight... All he does is suplex the next guy, and Jaquani. <laughs> it was like, oh, yeah, Jaquani, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like you did the exact same thing. Well, that's what I was like. I, I'm fucking practicing day, wrestling. Man. Yeah. <laughs> At that time, I honestly was practicing wrestling fucking five percent of the time. But were you that up man to that, point that like he did life. that to you? That you're like, I'm gonna, because that like back to back suplex is not yeah. a typical move though. Yeah, that pissed me off, and I was like, I want like yeah, exactly. what the fuck? I, I want, want that happen again. Yeah, yeah. I want to learn I'm how to do that shit. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. That that's what you do. You, I know how it I made me a, feel, and now I I'm learned. Do yeah, it else. I learned a fucking lesson, and now no one fucking no one touches me like that. Did you practice that in practice? Were you practicing the the, the belly to belly suplex, whatever that was? Um, how he slammed me. It was. Yeah. Uh, he was just behind. It was just back, was, back suplex, regular yeah. suplex. But you, did you did you ever come close to knocking and Jaquani out with it or no? Um, no, but I did. I knocked him out in the second round with a punch. I had him. Uh, I actually did. I suplexed him, and then I had him in side turtle, and I threw an uppercut underneath his arm, and he went out. And I'm like, fuck yeah, bonus shot. So I start hitting him again. I keep like going, right? And he's face down. So he wakes up, gets up, and then runs towards the cage. Uh, now, people don't realize how good <laughs> Anthony, Anthony Anjikawani was like a, a, world cla- a world-class kickboxer. Yeah. Like he's like a, got numerous times. I was honestly yeah, terrified in that fight. Yeah. He fucking broke my face in the first 30 seconds of that fight, and I had double vision that whole oh, fucking yeah, fight. Oh, yeah, your eye, right? Yeah, I fought that fucker with double vision that whole time. Is that why Oof, you only go out with fat just, chicks? Or, yeah. yeah. All right, that's amazing. No. Why is he like this? <laughs> All right, so anyway, here Hello. we go. Boom. <laughs> boom, roasted. <laughs> roasted, boom. Did you, did you break your face again? Double dude, vision. First of all, that, boom, roasted. That boom, roasted. <laughs> Tom Brady posts a thing today going, like, picture of me. Ben Ashkin goes, You have a worse body than me. Boom, roasted. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. that is hilarious. Like, you have a worse body, body than me. Boom, roasted. I think it's is that who got roasted? Oh, well, he knows. He knows. It he should be just boom, like a, dual roasted. Whatever. Look yeah, at he knows. Body. He's like, like he a knows. gangly, loppy looking fucking weirdo. He's got a dad bod, dude. He knows. He totally. The worst body than me. Boom, roasted. He's like a skinny fat person. Oh, he's yeah, like, exactly. That's exactly dude, what it is. Yeah. The funniest thing was was at that fight. Uh, against Robbie Lawler that he was like a three to one favorite yeah. and you look at them it looked like pros versus Joes absolutely it looked like yeah, it it just someone from the crowd it's yeah. like you get over here this fucking yeah. curly haired fucking dude. who will take yeah, on this man I'll do it Napoleon Dynamite looking motherfucker <laughs> boom roasted <laughs> boom roasted dude that would uh, bulldog would've, choke if they would have stopped that fight in the, in the first that would have probably been the worst uh, debut in the history of MMA after all that hype. Yeah. Oh my God. And Dana would have been like, he would have been on Cloud Nine. I know that they're yeah. friends now, but he would have been like, yeah, our guys are just a different level. Look what happened to Askren. Yeah. You, you know. Oh, for sure. Uh, yeah. That would, but and I thought they were going to stop before. That that's happened before where a lot of guys came from Bellator and that were and really successful. Threw them to the wall. Right, though. and that's, that's clearly what he was trying to do was throw them to the wall. But not clearly. that bad. That's what that's yeah. what I thought when I saw the matchup. I was like. Oh yeah, they're trying to. Yeah, they're, they're trying, trying to, to kill be, him. chew him up and spit him out. That's they're what I thought. Kill him. They also wanted a guy that he couldn't get under, under his skin. They picked a guy like Robbie Lawler, who like it, it wasn't like yeah. Darren Till or somebody who asked him because just annoy the fuck out of you know. Yeah. Like a guy who like what are you gonna say to Robbie Lawler? Yeah. yeah, a real champ. Yeah, it's fucking Robbie Lawler. So yeah. I'll tell you who I felt bad for was my friend Ugh. Eric. Uh, 
against Khalil Roundtree. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were talking about Alan Jobon now, but yes. Oh, not I didn't watch the Anders fight. Oh, I want to yeah, see it. Too. I'm going to watch it, but it I haven't is, seen it. It was one of the most painful fights. He kicked this guy's leg out. He went to he's he started training in Thailand for like his, this camp and he was in that fight like he was a fucking straight Thai boxer. And he was already an amazing Thai boxer. Like, yeah. like and he kicked his leg. They could have stopped it in the first. And Eric had so much heart, but the announcers were like, they gotta throw in a towel. They gotta throw in a towel. This is not good. What is what is he? It was sad. And I like Eric Andrews. And I don't know if they brought him up too fast yeah. or what, because he was just knocking everyone out in the beginning. Eight and oh, nine yeah. and oh, ten and oh. But uh I don't know. And he even went to a different camp for this. He went to, I think, Colorado and trained with uh, uh, those guys at, at Team Elevation. Cause I think he said, oh, really? I think he said, yeah, I think he did. But uh, man, Eric's got heart, but he's just got to take a step back and be like, okay, what do I need to do? <clears throat> because he's got all the tools. You know, he's got everything. It's just. Well, he just, need, he just needs to assess like his, his defensive strategies on striking. You know what I mean? Like, Late kicks are his basic strategies to, to do it, like checking or even trapping it. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, but he knows that, right? Yeah, but if you don't practice it, you, you won't yeah, do you're, it. You're not going to do you it. You won't do it. You're not going to do it. You have to drill. That's, that's one of the biggest things that I learned just from this fight is like, there's certain things that you'll always do. You all like you'll always be able to throw a punch. You'll always be able to throw a kick, but when you do it and like drilling things, like if you don't, if you're not on it, like disciplined, it's not gonna come out in the that's, fight. That's the you point be, of training and drilling. It's yes. to get that muscle memory. Though when you you're hit a certain way or push yeah. a certain way, you react a certain way. You it's can the have, muscle memory. Yeah, that exactly. You want. Yeah, like, you gotta you count have, on that. You yeah. can have all the yeah. talent in the world and be able to do all like. You know, if you're sparring, you can throw, improvise, and throw yeah. all this crazy shit. But, like, when it comes down to it, when the pressure's on and you're tired, if you haven't drilled stuff, you're not going like, to be that's doing like anything. Com- it's a lot like comedy. Because I was going to say, say, it's a lot like comedy. No matter how much you've had to drink, no matter how much blow, <laughs> you just rely on the material to come out of your mouth and you get out of there. I don't know what I'm doing. Not only that, I know what I got. I know it's funny. Fuck you. Well, Greg, I was about to say about like comedy. You guys just hijacked my fucking point. All right, recap of what happened. I go, it's a lot like comedy. Yeah. I was about to say, blah, 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 blah. And you two fuckers laugh. And I never got a chance. Well, they both were, I think, right. imitating me, drunk, right. do too much coke, trying oh. to still do comedy. Okay. That's what it sounded like they were trying to do. Okay, okay. I'm I'm the the same, drunk, motherfuckers. That's exactly <laughs> what I was saying. You repeated the same joke five times you were on coke the other night. Yeah, I did. I one time. Oh, I had one shit. bad one where I just, I went in like, I couldn't remember my fucking material. I was too high. <laughs> I was too drunk. The problem was I started drinking at 6 o'clock in the evening uh, and the show started at 12.30 at night and I went on at 2 o'clock in the morning. So fuck. at that point I've been drinking what, uh, without a power eight nap? hours. Without a power without nap? Any nap just, I just did a little blow to try and recover but it wasn't enough. I was, I just, my That's brain That's fantastic. My brain Maybe was mush. Time, mix in some Molly too, you never so, know. What I was trying to say. <laughs> there might be some Molly. Listen, all I can okay, say is Okay, okay, okay. What okay. I was trying okay. to say was not the blow and stuff, but a lot of times <laughs> when you see a guy on Netflix or Comedy Central and it's a hot crowd, almost they could put almost any comic in that situation. They could look great, okay? But it's when right. the crowd's not with you, when the audience is tired, when shit went down, when the feature bombed, or maybe he did too much crowd work, or whatever the hell happens, when, when you're in a hole, and, and that's when you could see when a, there's a good comic or not. That's when you, but the problem is people don't see that on TV. They go, oh, this, this is a guy from, you know, Levity that they put on. But... It's when the, everything's stacked against you. That's when you know this, is a guy, this guy's a, a pro or not. Yeah. And that's kind of, I guess, with fighting, too. It's like, I like my analogy yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. Like... All right, so Alan Juban. <laughs> I only yeah, caught I like booze and blow, Alan too. Juban, <laughs> I only caught a couple of Alan Juban uh, minutes of it. It looked like he was winning that fight. I think he was chasing the Okay, he, first of all, there was... Uh, won that fight. He won that fight. I mean, I see... It was weird too because one judge gave him all, yeah, all exactly. three rounds. Exactly. Which was weird. And then every, the other two had it split, but to the other guy. And the weird thing about it though was I could see it either way because yes, he was pressuring, but the other guy was connecting more. Yeah, he was landing shots, but Alec, he wasn't really doing much damage. So like, Neither one of them were. I mean, it was a lot of nothingness. But yes, the yeah. other guy was backing up the whole fight. 
But it, but I don't think. I mean, but if you were talking about when they would engage, the other guy did. I think. I mean, he seemed to land cleaner, well, I like more significant hits when they would engage. I feel like which was almost because I put Alan Jabon's name in Twitter and said he won. So I texted him, "Congrats!" What? He lost. I go, "Oh my bad. Uh, I heard oh, you got robbed. No. Sorry, dude." <laughs> and he did lose his mind when they announced yeah, that it wasn't him. Pissed. He lost his. I, I gave. Mind. I gave it to him. I gave him the, the edge on it. I would have gave him the split decision. Well, I thought yeah, he was going to yeah. win the split. The, when they were like, it's a split, I thought it was definitely still going to be Al just on Octagon Aggression. But yeah. when they said the other guy, I was like, well, I mean, he did seem to connect more cleanly, more in the few times. That, and that was the other thing, okay? That was the other thing. When you don't engage, when you engage that little over three rounds and leave it up to the judges, well, that, that you know, shit like that happens. You think Alan didn't engage? Not nearly enough. And another thing Neither of them is, did. Even, even if you feel like you totally won the fight, you still only have a 50-50 chance of winning. Yeah. yeah. Now, exactly. You don't know what now, the fuck those think, judges now, are now, thinking. Now, yeah. think the audience was Obviously, booing. The audience like, was this, booing most of the second and almost all the third. Now, do you think when a guy at the end of a fight like acts like he won, does that sway the judge at all? It's too late. At no, that it's point, too late by it? then. The, the decision's been made. It'll sway the other fighter, though. Like when I fight right. uh, Joaquin Silva... I couldn't hear Buffer, and that motherfucker put his hands up, and I, I was like, I was crushed because I thought he won, and then the ref pulled my hand up, so I was like, oh fuck, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I was like super stoked, but <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that happened to me. Yeah, yeah, like I was like, I was like crushed for like uh, that fucking split second. I was like, what the fuck? And then I was like, oh fuck yeah, fuck you. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> was that girl who you were like friend zone with? Was she with you during that fight? Who? Who's that hot girl with glasses who like is in love with you, but you guys are best friends? Just, Are you talking about Stephanie? Yeah, yeah. You guys, she was, she was there. Yeah. Who's the fighter girl that you were, uh, you were? Remember we had her? Jesse Jess. Oh, Jesse Jess. Jess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what happened with her? I you guys were like her. talking and shit. And no, we were talking for a little bit. Fireworks but were really, popping. Eh, we, I mean, we were talking for a little bit, but nothing really ever materialized. Like, yeah, she made honestly. you work too hard. <laughs> she she flaked at me a couple times, and then yeah, I that'll was do like, it. "Fuck that." Yeah, and then I, I heard some stories, and I know I wasn't gonna like. I, like I wanted to go visit her, but I wasn't gonna go visit her and have her flake on me and then be out there like a fucking asshole. Which you know it seems I mean? like, like that she loves that. I would have been really pissed. So because she did I, that I to, to Wean Dog like three times. Well, Wean yeah, Dog at the Performance Institute banging on the door. But he's not the only person I've, that has told me something like that. So <laughs> I was gonna put myself real? in that situation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah you don't want to be that guy. Yeah. Like God damn. I like her. She's a cool chick. I still think she's a cool chick. Right. She's still an amazing cool chick. But Wean Dog showed up at the UFC gym like banging on the door. I'm outside and she's like security. But didn't she invite? Him? Kind of. Was that, I don't think I don't I think he was he was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she don't know window. What's up, people? The playoffs, the NBA playoffs is underway in the NBA. Yes, and there's some great games. The Celtics are playing the Pacers, the Spurs are playing the Nuggets. All right. Are right, your confidence high? Are you willing to place a wager? Don't know where to start? There's only one place to get in all the action. Grab the odds and allow the experts at betonline.ag do the heavy lifting for you. They got sports, they got live betting, virtual casino, you name it. BetOnline.ag is CLNS Media's preferred sports book online. If you're feeling lucky and like to support our podcast, go to CLNS Media forward slash winning and use promo code CLNS50 for that 50% sign up bonus. That's CLNS50. BetOnline.ag, your sports book experts. All right, uh, Bilal Muhammad. I think he's really going to show up. Bilal Muhammad <laughs> looked amazing. That was the best against Curtis Millinder. Whoa. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. He looked that really good. That was actually. I didn't need to I think I picked one of those guys, but I thought that dude did look really good. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know who he was before that fight. I've never then, seen him before. And then Montel Jackson beat Andre Sukumtoff. And uh, that girl. Pauline. Andre Sukumtoff? <laughs> Suck him off. off. Suck him top. Suck him off. And then Andre Pauliano Patella <laughs> beat Lauren Muller. That fight, I wanted Lauren to win, but Lauren was coming on hard in the third. Another girl that needed a finish. What is it with these people that need finishes in one minute left and then go for a takedown? Do they think they're going to get a sub? Is that what they think is going to happen? I don't know, but I'd love to be the meat between those two pieces of bread. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's some good-looking women right there. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been with a uh, Brazilian chick? No, I haven't. No. Really? No. Seems like that would just be part of the fight game. Yeah. You would think. I'll tell you, Australian girls are wild. Hmm. Australian girls are wild. I've heard. Yeah. yeah. I've heard. The first time I heard that was when I was in, I was stationed in Pensacola, and one of my instructors was a Navy guy, and uh, he was married to an Australian chick. And he told us, when you pull into port, 
on the on the ships, you start seeing tennis balls getting thrown onto the ship. Just like hundreds of tennis balls. From the girls. You pick them up, and there's phone numbers written on the tennis balls. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And, they're and they're all hot. And they're all, they're we, all, they're all hot. Dog oh, phone oh. numbers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boys. All those prepaid phones. <laughs> all those burners. <laughs> it's just drug burners. <laughs> hey, call this number. That's, that's no, yeah. Like, and, I've, and I had it like confirmed by... by that's people. their version of catfishing. Yeah. The first time I ever banged an Australian girl... I, I, I like really wanted to impress her. She was hot. I picked her up at Stand Up New York. And afterwards, she goes, "That's all you got." Oh, oh. damn! So I was like, "All right, we're doing round two tomorrow." Uh, <laughs> so, all right, After so, a good night's rest, I'm getting back in there. I'm going to show you what's what. So this week, All Star Overeem against Alexei Olenek. Ooh, uh, <laughs> Olenek is uh, which one? He's the guy with the. Olenek, he's the uh, he's the the Ezekiel from the bottom guy, Always, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. From Mount. Oh my God, like that guy! Mounted. When someone when someone's mounting him, he fucking and Ezekiels he fucking him twice. Him. Oh, every time. Every time. I think, I think it's happened three times. I think Overeem knocks him out. Let's no? let's hope Overeem doesn't take him out and mount him. Let's let's hope Overeem just like sticks with what Overeem can do. Like, Steroids. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Let's Whoa, get let's get Overeem back. hands on the card. I think um, Overeem wins this fight, no? Oh, Roxy? Yeah, Roxy's yeah, the on the shit. card. She is the Dude, shit. That girl's talking shit about Who's her, Who's she too. fighting? She's, She's my fighting favorite female fighter. fighter. No, Antonina? No, that, that girl's sister, Chevchenko's sister. Yeah, the little one, Shevchenko. Oh, that's your sister? Yeah, the one who beat uh, Ashley Evan Smith. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. really see because the picture's black and white for some reason. But anything happen with you and Ashley Evan Smith? You guys were had a little fire going? No, no, I never. You guys ever at each other? And, no. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so uh, <laughs> I actually have a, I've, I've good, heard, uh, dude. We can talk off air. All right. Well, what? So, oh, okay. You know something right. I don't? Yeah. All right, so is this, this fight's in Russia. Uh, Rashad like Evans is going to be there. Dirty deets. He'll be the only black person in Russia. Uh, Islam Makachev, do we know him? Come on, guys, we can't talk about uh, this. Uh, Sang Wu Choi <laughs> is taking on Mavsar Alov. Uh, Hold on, I'm trying to catch up with you. Where is he? Where um, I don't know that? who these people are. Where's one with my thing? Uh, oh, there it is. Michael. Why can't I get it? Yeah, say that fucking name. <laughs> this house, this house, no. Come on, say this it. House say it. Suck I don't for know any these people. I know, Oleg, I know, Oleg, I know. Adam, Oleg, doesn't, Oleg, Adam doesn't give I, us the, the Wi Fi password. I have the Wi Fi password. I just can't find the network. All right, I got it. I got no, go it. to MMA Junkie. Go to events. Go to future events on MMA Junkie. <laughs> just go to the UFC app. I got the UFC app. I'm telling you, I'm getting notes. Sometimes they have my My. Sprint sucks. Look, let's just be honest. You have the app. I have the app. Okay. Also, Ryzen this Sprint. week. Sprint. <laughs> I know. King Mo it's is cheap fighting. Though. King Mo is fighting in Ryzen against Jiri Prachapka. You know him, uh, Tyler. I'm excited for King Mo's no. return. King Mo has a fought since he fought Bader, guy? right? He has a fought since he fought Bader. Uh, yeah, he got knocked out by Bader. That was the last fight, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you fight after that? I like King Mo. A I lot. do too. I'm excited for his return. Also, Ben Wynn. Yeah. King Mo's great. He's fighting Haraguchi against Ben Wynn. Nice. Ben Wynn's the guy that knocked out Jesse Jess's ex boyfriend. Remember that crazy guy that like has tattoos all over his face? That like she she knocked him out. He was like domestic abuse. That was that her. Guy. That was her boyfriend. Was I don't know what he looked like. Yeah, he has tattoos all over his face. So that's really? what she needs. And then she likes trashy boys too. Totally. She likes Evan criminals. Smith. Nor she likes he did me. Ashley <laughs> Evan Smith also. You're then not he, criminal enough. Then he went to Team Alpha Male and Cody No Love. I just don't get caught. Cousin knocked him out. And goes, welcome to Team Alpha Male, bitch. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, I heard about that. that I heard guy, about that. Right. Yeah, this yeah, guy yeah. that was talking shit to this guy, Ben Wynn, and I think Ben Wynn knocked him out. Like He's the one that knocked wait, him out at Yeah, yeah, he's fighting uh, Kyoji Horiguchi. Damn. Horiguchi is the guy who just beat uh, my, our guy from San Diego. Yeah, Horiguchi's that, dope. He beat uh, the San Diego, the dude that was a belt um, champion. Right? Didn't he beat the Bellator champion? You're not, yes. about, you're not talking about what's his name, right? Fucking uh, uh, NCAA uh, Shane, champion. Shane. Fucking <laughs> Darian Caldwell. Fucking the Wolf. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He beat Caldwell. He beat Caldwell. So I think Ben Wynn's going to get killed in this fight against Haraguchi. You think he will? Yeah. Yeah, Haraguchi's good. Uh, He's really good. Dude, yeah. your boy's fighting Damian Brown. Yeah, the guy that you fought. Who's Damian fighting? Damian fighting Koji Takeda. Oh, I thought he's. Damian won his last fight against Khrushchev. Yeah, right. he did. He he looked really good. He was getting killed, and he yeah. hit him with a guillotine. Yeah, but he all right, we're gonna make a choke. No, a guillotine. Well, yeah, yeah. Maybe that was part of his plan. <laughs> <laughs> God's plan. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, I don't know any of the other guys. Okay, UFC, and then uh, April twenty seventh, uh, Jacare versus Hermanson. Didn't Jared Hermanson just fight Jack Hermanson? Didn't he just win? Didn't he just not? Didn't he just? Yeah. 
Who he did he, fought. Uh, he just David Branch, right? He just submitted David Branch. Yeah, he's fighting Jocker right now. Yeah, he's gonna get tapped. <laughs> You think he's coming in there with that, <laughs> with that bullshit, dude? Sorry. You think he's going to come in here with that bullshit against Jacare? Dave Branch nope. is a black, is a black Not Jacare, though. He's yeah. not Jacare. I don't know, but Jacare kind of thinks he's a striker now. So I know. We'll see. What are the levels of black belt, right? So like, like a Dave Branch There's black so belt. There's so many levels. Like yeah. a Jacare black belt <laughs> and a, I don't know, let's say guy at your gym black belt. I mean... So, yeah, like, you never know. It's like they know the same stuff, but applying it is... If you're, it's, it's if hard you're to a professional jiu-jitsu guy, like... That's why, I, that's why I hate belts. It's yeah. Like, like, that's why I like wrestling. Because, well, like, the, it, there's no belts in wrestling, but you yeah. know when a guy's a champ. And yeah, it, you, you know, know who's a badass. You know, you know, you know, oh, okay. But, I thought you were, for a the second there, I thought you were talking like WWE. I'm like, no, well, yeah, because that's scripted. Everybody knows who's going to win no, before you even start. It's confusing. You don't know that? No, it's just confusing that <laughs> both these guys are black belts. You know what I'm saying? In right. a way. Yeah, yeah. Like, right. a, a guy like... Dave Branch is a, probably a great black belt, and a guy like Jacare, and you're like, he might try if he tries that shit against him, he's gonna yeah. get killed. Yeah. So, shouldn't but it's the styles. Who knows? Maybe his jiu-jitsu. You never know. Maybe like the shittiest jiu-jitsu player in the world can stifle Jacare's jiu-jitsu just because he in has this MMA, one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah MMA, because he has this this one weird way that he fucking what is stifles him. You know what I mean? I mean, probably fucking never, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like well, sometimes, get, Kel- sometimes Kel- it Kel- has did. happened. Yeah, Kel- sometimes, did. sometimes it has happened where you've seen guys just get stopped like that. Well, well yeah, I mean that's true. Adesanya like like had a solid guillotine attempt and a triangle attempt against Kelvin Gastelum and Kelvin Gastelum was a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Well, Jack Ray couldn't like, submit Kelvin either. Twice. Jack Ray couldn't submit Kelvin. Yeah. I mean, he's a black I mean, belt, he can't so. strangle him because he doesn't really have a neck, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, he also has like two dumb... It's got to be a benefit. He also has one of those things where he's just like, you see with actors all the time, like, like I, I talk myself. The old, the old he morale have a booster. <laughs> no, no. He does have two. He has no neck, but he does have four balls. So, there's, uh, <laughs> so life has its they own. They are giant. <laughs> like, you ever notice, Greg, like, He's got more of what you have. You ever notice with comedy acting or fighting? Like so many times I've had auditions where like, oh, this fucking guy is going to be there and this. And if I get this, then that'll happen. And I've already lost. I've already, right, yeah. I'm out the fucking door. Yep. But Kelvin has this thing where nothing it gets bigger than him yeah like he doesn't care who he's fighting it's not going to affect him he doesn't he, he just fights better than he does yeah. in practice yeah or other guys like Mike Pyle will tell you in the gym was the greatest fighter in the history of fighting yeah. but then would go out there and just get sometimes knocked out by guys that you're like yeah fuck that would never yeah. happen I th- I'm that I think I'm that guy that way I'm the good the g- in the gym like everything's perfect and you're like all, all <laughs> solid and then when the lights come on it's just <clears throat> <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know how I am. I don't know. I would say you're the other kind. Vince shines. Vince shines. I mean, I mean to start, under to the start fighting at 26 years old like you did and to make the UFC at 32. I do. I know I know that I do like I know that I do very well under pressure like if I know like if I'm super with my back against the wall like super bad, I know I like that's when I do my best. You've never gotten dominated in a fight? Not really, not where I was like worried. Yeah. You've like, never got outclassed. I mean, you've gotten yeah. submitted. You never looked bad in a fight. Yeah, like when I fought Gregor, he was he took me down a few times, but I honestly started stopping him too. Like I started like <laughs> it's stupid, but my game plan was to wear him out by taking me down. So it was actually it was, <laughs> and it was actually starting to work. It was, it, was working. <laughs> it was actually starting to work. At the end of the first round, he was like sucking wind hard. And yeah. I'm gonna get him to leave me alone tired. by yeah. blowing him until he's out of juice. For real, he was like he was. Then too we'll tired see who's dead. And I, I just made a mistake, got caught. But like, yeah, yeah, like I was never really like. I was like, I was never in a position where I was like worried, you know, like, yeah. but I don't know. I, I told Tom, Galicia I'm good enough. I could protect myself. I was like, Tom, if it was a 12 round fight, you would, you would, you would have won. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you don't want to last at least six or seven. Yeah. But I honestly think that t- there are certain guys, if it was like there are, 20 yeah. rounds, they they're would suited for that. Yeah. They're yeah. suited for, for just like, okay, we're fighting until one of us dies. And they'll, like, they'll, they'll not win as a round sport. 17. Yes. Like, like, <laughs> well, that's how honestly, boxing used I, to be. I, I it used to be 15 way. rounders. Yeah. Dude, it used more. to be 80 rounds. Yeah. 100 rounds. It was just until someone yeah, fucking fell. That's true. Yeah, 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 until yeah. it was done. Like, oh, it's like if the undercar went that long, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, yeah, it but used to be a fight. So it, it was like, it sounds right, like we're going round, to the, the boxing so fight okay, this we're, month. We're taking away gloves. Yeah. You guys get fist packs Rounds now. 12 Let's through 88 sounds like they were probably pretty boring. This match is going a little long. Here's some knuckles. A lot of Someone, hugging. A lot of hugging for that 60 rounds. 
<laughs> someone can toss you water. You know what sucks? Like, there's, there's no, no time TV limit. back then, right? So someone had to like report each, each punch mm. like by paper. <laughs> they have little tickers in their hand. Like, <laughs> 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 that's all you hear. Uh, also, Greg Hardy is fighting Dmitry Smolavkov. Cool. Lame. Uh, Alex Oliveira. <laughs> cool. Who has seven, oh, he has eight kids with six different women. And they're all <laughs> in the same block. Isn't he? Yeah, oh, damn. Isn't, isn't he the other cowboy? one goes by cowboy? Jesus. Yeah, he's the other cowboy. He sure is. Yeah, that's uh, cowboy. He sure fucking no, is. But somebody was like, "You're the man." If that was in America, people would be like, "What a pig," you know. But in Brazil, everyone's like, "That guy's yeah, a legend." That guy's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> you must show us where he gets. He is. <laughs> yeah. But how late? Yeah, yeah, right. Like, yeah, that's crazy. He, he's fighting Mike Perry. <laughs> he gets shouts oh, from every, oh, yeah. every woman. That's a big. That's, I like that fight a lot too. Yeah. I love that. Who wins that fight? Mike Perry's actually been looking pretty good. I, I like, kind of like Mike Perry. I, if he, if Mike Perry fight, who was his last fight? Um, cowboy. Uh, no, he fought after Cowboy, didn't he? No, the co- yeah, the Cowboy. But he Cowboy. Also, but he, no, he looked really good against Cowboy. Like he got tapped in the first. He wasn't. Round. He wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't making mistakes. Listen, he listen, poor life choice is okay. It could happen to anyone. Yeah. It was a long up. five minutes. In the stand-up. In the stand-up, which is where cow- which this cowboy wants to take it. Yeah. yeah. Wait, he's fighting two cowboys in a row? Yeah. Revenge, um, he cowboy. Revenge. Yeah, he wants revenge. Yeah, I think <laughs> vengeance. I'll take I'll be one of these cowboys. <laughs> exactly. I think Barry, I think Barry could take it. If, 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 if he beats Greg Hardy, that'll he be stays free, technical. That'll be cowboy. It will be. Because <laughs> he was a cowboy. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. All right. Uh, uh, Kurtalaba is fighting Glover Teixeira. What you call me? Kurtalaba's good, right? Isn't he the guy that looks crazy? I don't know. Uh, and then, Teixeira's uh, looked pretty good. That sounds like a restaurant you, you want to try out two? on Postmates. And I really like Teixeira. Do you want to order from Cordelaba? I think, and he's looked pretty solid. I hear they have those, uh, those tapas. <laughs> they have Ben Who? Saunders fighting Takashi Sato, who they have as 0-3. Is that possible? In the UFC? In, in, no. in his whole career. Yeah, uh, like, how do you get Talk about failing up. Jesus Christ. How do you get... <laughs> You're stupid. It does not say he's 0-3. Do they leave... It? It says Maybe they left the one bro. off. Maybe it's supposed to be 10-3. <laughs> <three. laughs> I hope that's true. That's fucking horrible. Well, check. Oh, what does it say on the UFC? What does it say on the <laughs> UFC? He's fighting Ben Saunders. Sorry, bud. Hold on. What Sorry, kind of Takashi. Kind of, is that the same? What does that say about Ben's career? Like, wait, when they're, they're like, we got to get him. We, we got to get him back. Wait a minute. This is mine. That one's yours. You're talk, looking for the button. Like, I'm like, there's no button on this one. There's no button. He said, talk about failing up. Yeah. Failing up. Oh How do you God. do that? How do you keep getting promoted when you keep losing? It can't be right. He must have, he what what C- card is it? He gives CM Punk hope. Which card is it? What card is it? Uh, UFC on ESPN3, Jacare versus Hermanson. Oh, there it is. Uh, in, in Sunrise, Florida. He's fighting Tasha. <laughs> boy, that, uh, that's, boy, that's got all oh, the Oh, Jim big, Miller's fighting? Yeah. Jason Gonzalez? has got all the big winning uh, attributes. <laughs> it's on What's up, ES- Jim Miller? Why don't you find me, dude? It's on ESPN3. Okay. He's 14-2. Out, out of some retirement. He's 14-2. Oh, wow. And they had an 0-3. I like it better as 0-3. I like 0-3 more, yeah, for sure. And Diego Lima is fighting. Oh, John Linkers, Lin- Lineker is fighting. That's actually a good card. I'm the stone. Carla Esparza is fighting a girl who's 14-0. and 0. Verna Jandaroba. Man, they don't give her anybody easy. Oh, Carla no. Esparza. Remember we hung out with her? Carla Esparza is yeah. a badass, though. Yeah. She's sweet. Yeah, yeah. She's kind of cute, too. She is. Uh, and then that same night. Cookie Monster. I didn't Rory know that was her nickname. Rory yeah. McDonald's. Cookie Monster. Eat that cookie. <laughs> Roy McDonald is fighting John Fitch. <gasps> huh. Interessante. It's Bellator. gonna be super exciting or super boring as a motherfucker. I think it's gonna be exciting. Really? Yeah. No. When has John Fitch ever been an exciting fight? Ever. Rory's always exciting though. Yeah. But if yeah, John I mean, Fitch is gonna play his game and Rory's gonna play the same lame game, it's gonna be a fucking super lame fight. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're gonna be canceling each other's lameness out with their exactly. lame abilities. Alima Lane McFarlane's on the card. She's hot. She's That's hot little Hawaiian. She's fucking gangster. Wait, who? Alima Lane McFarlane's fighting Veta. Hold on, where is she? Artiega. Mm, Phil she? Davis is fighting Liam McGarry. She's the Hawaiian. Uh, the wait, Hawaiian. I don't champ. even see that on the same card. No, it's not on. This is Bellator. Oh. And then uh, so Ben so Henderson's taking Adam three? Piccolotti. He's a good fighter. Uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty good, uh, good, good little card. I have to go somewhere else to see the Bellator fights. Why? I'm on the UFC app. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was looking on the UFC app because it has that and like the, all the other little smoke shows that they yeah, yeah engulfed. Yeah, but they're probably not gonna list the Bellator for yeah, Leslie yeah. Smith. A sign with Bellator. Oh, that's really? good. Did she? Yeah, good for her. Good for her. Good Shout for out Leslie. to her. And Invicta's having a one night strawweight championship. They're having oh, a tournament right. all in one night. Yeah, Invicta. Nine girls. 
A one night. Nine I girls, like, I like the night. description. It's like nine girls, one night. I was going to say, it's like a lot of the videos I watch online. So I'm, Wait, uh, it's I'm nine. So they fight, multiple, they nine. fight yeah. multiple times? The nine yeah. girls, yeah. one winner. Let's go. Yeah. Multiple fights in a night? That's the That shit, winner dude. could be you. And Jordan Burroughs wants one MMA fight, he says. Let's Uh-oh. do it. I'm in. I'm into it. Teach him how to box. Let's go. I don't know. I mean, that's a dangerous thing to say, right? Because... He has to. It's you have to learn stand up. You have to learn stand up. No one doesn't. Come on, Jordan Burroughs. Who are they gonna put against? I mean, if it's one fight, you don't think that they're gonna want like what big fight? I mean, maybe they don't necessarily have to do that. And if people are gonna talk shit, fuck them. Let them talk shit. It's MMA. It's not wrestling. Have it's him different. fight Dylan Dennis. That would be a good, like that would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. That if would be great. Because like yeah. it'd be a grappling that match, and I would like to see him smash Dylan Dennis. Dennis might catch him though. No. He might. He might. Yeah. Yeah, he could. But uh, whoo. Yeah. Yeah, I would just like to see. I would just like to see that matchup. Um, Conor McGregor has a PR crisis manager. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> I think you take the word PR off of there. Yeah, yeah. I think that was a made up. I think that was a made up. I think he just needs a cri- Yeah, just a crisis manager. Ronda Rousey's taking a vacation from to get pregnant. WWE yeah, get pregnant. she's gonna get pregnant finally. Yeah, good for her. Damn. Ronda Rousey is interesting. She's one of those girls that can look so hot and so not, depending on what angle you yeah. She should fight yeah. John Fitch. You know, like feel, sometimes you see it. Yeah. Exactly. Sometimes you're like, God damn, she's hot. And then sometimes you're like, she kind of looks like a dude. Yeah. So it's, it's, it just depends on, it's so weird. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, th- those, are the, those are the things. What do you got coming up? Hey, babe. Oh. oh. She's back from you Coachella. The Molly wear off. Okay, you can have it because I'm sick of it already. Uh, M- Miles was the in love with her. Miles was like falling her around, smelling her butt. She say hi. Yeah, she, say hi, Vi. Did you get kisses? Oh. <laughs> funny how dogs, hey, dogs are pretty good. Okay, all right. Let's get the baby away from the dog. Baby, relax. <laughs> Oh. So what do you got coming up, Greg? Uh, this uh, Saturday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm going to be in Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm going to be in Vegas. Wait, which day? Uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. Uh, Thursday, though, I'm just going to see Aerosmith. Oh, okay. uh, they're nice. doing the show at the the park, whatever MGM Park, whatever. Um, so oh, that oh, in the, the pool, park. like in the pool in the back. Yeah. Like in the I don't think so. No, I think the, the no, I think they're at the in whatever their theater is uh, or whatever. I went to a five hundred death punch concert back there. It was really fun. A little different rain type cool. of band. Yeah, little yeah, different a level. Little, little bit different level really bands. Fun. Five finger death punch and Aerosmith. Aerosmith band. But there's a stage. I mean, depending can, on who you are, you could slow no, motion. Yeah, the yeah, I pool. think depending on if you're a human or not a human. Listen, you could. But I'm still looking forward to say yeah because I feel like they can't be performing touring that many more tours, and I've never seen them live. So I was like, fuck it, you got it. You got to see that. And then Friday night, I'll be headlining at the Foundation Room at the Mandalay Bay and the Dirty at 1230 at the South Point. And then Saturday night, I'll be doing the midnight show with Carl LeBeau at the uh, uh, Laugh Factory. Mm. Nice. Saturday at midnight. So that's what I'll be doing there. And then uh, recovering Sunday and coming back Monday. (laughs) And uh, Vince, what do you got coming up, Vince? I am training my ass off. Um, I'm looking to start a new channel here, like with my technique videos, like I was saying, and I'm looking for a fight. They, uh, I actually talked to my manager just now and we're, there's a card here in LA coming up pretty soon in August. So I might try to get on that card. Done. Yeah. Yes. Fuck. What? Yes. August something. Oh, nice. It's usually like first, first yeah. week. I yeah. Think. I think it's the yeah. first week of August sometime. Like August. Tyler, what do you got coming up? That'd be cool. Uh, teaching jujitsu Tuesdays and Thursdays. Teachy, teachy. Braxton's Combat Sports in Venice, California. Come by. Oh. Um, and da, 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 that's about it. No real, no that's real awesome, plans for though. anything. That's good. Yeah, just teaching, working, yeah. hanging that's out. Cool. Now, is there a first class free or any, any? First class free. Um, and then if you want to do a private with me, the first private is free too. So how much are those? Who? How much free are privates, privates normally? Exactly. Tyler's and is that, with, is that full release or? Uh, it is a half? full release. It is a full release. Um, <laughs> uh, choking mandatory. Oh shit. Um, I mean, and I'm, it's 80, 80, 80. Per 80. Hour. That's yeah. cool. Oh yeah. Well, typical. Yeah, that's typical rate. Is that yeah. about right? In LA, yeah. Yeah. For a brown belt too, like black belts are anywhere between one twenty and one fifty, unless you're like one of the big big guys. Then those guys are charge charging a lot. Fucking 
ridiculous. Yeah. 400, 500. Yeah, some motherfucker. And probably getting it and getting it. Oh, and getting it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got six some privates studio, today. Yeah, some studio jerk off is like, oh, I got him coming over to teach me jujitsu. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, my jujitsu. Russell Peters takes like, like he can Machado with him on the road. There you go. Oh, that's my like, God. Yeah, sometimes you, you just have more money. Than, three, sometimes you got more money than you know what to do with, you know? That's awesome. Though. Good for him. Or he's on he like just had another baby. Dude. Yeah, he probably just pays yeah. him like that a flat would be rate. The shit. What? Travel? Just like travel beyond salary as probably somebody's like a body private. As well. Like, all you got to do is do an hour a day with him, two hours a day. Well, listen, Hell yeah. listen, people. I will be at the Black Box Theater in Boca Raton, Florida this Friday and Saturday. Uh, Sunday night, I'm at the Laugh Factory in Long Beach. April 27th, I'm in Chehalis, Washington at the Riverside Golf Club. May 2nd, I'm at Tommy T's in Rancho Cordova. Uh, I am May 16th at Gotham Comedy Club in New York City. May 17th and 18th at the Westside Comedy Club in New York City. May 23rd to 26th, Ventura Harbor Comedy Club in Ventura Harbor. Uh, I'm at Laughlin at the Avi Resort and Casino June 7th. The Comedy Cave in Calgary, June 11th to the 16th. And the Minnesota House of Comedy. June 19th to the 23rd, and at the Stratosphere in Las Vegas, July 1st to the 7th. Thank you guys so much for listening to the podcast. Take care and have a great week. Trap songs and trap dons. Tunis songs to hook them, Dorpotan. Tavas told them, Dorpotan. Yeah, yeah, yeah.